Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, you're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? He's shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. Oh, okay. oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. 
That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot! Mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. <clears throat> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. <laughs> oh. Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I'd just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her.
that went right between Cheever's legs when he was about six inches off the ice and Cheever started to go down. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Can't imagine why. Growing up with such a great and supportive family. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Sure, no problem. Not another sound. Place is crazy enough without your two cents. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya! What's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan!
Megan out! Won't you spare me over till another And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator. 
the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. You see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, You'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. You've seen how the story starts? So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Damn, I'd never have thought of that. Ugh, call for help, sure thing, Professor. Good job you're here. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Ah! Ah! Fuck. Where's my phone? Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. You're wrong. We stay here, someone will come down this road sooner or later. What is your problem? Relax, will you? I'm just not a girl who likes walking in the dark. The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Can't believe the driver. Just taking off like that and ditching us? Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off.
You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around, see if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? You're right. I'm sorry. It's got nothing to do with me. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. What? what? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone, then? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walked straight out every time! It's like... I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming.
I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Please stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Did you all see that? What was that? At least someone is home. Hey, are you coming? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <laughs> Are you for real? Thanks for backing me up. Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? What's up? Lighten up. You know I was only messing with you. You didn't sound like you were messing just now. Come on, will you? That long, long face doesn't suit you. Your attitude towards us sucks. I don't know what to say to that. Maybe she is right about you. Let's just forget it. Or maybe you like older women more. You seem to fawn over everything she says. I'm really trying hard to like you, but you're not making it easy. <laughs> If you want me to take you seriously, then your shit needs to hold together a lot more than it has up till now. God. 
You okay? I'm absolutely fine. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something, yeah? <sighs> What's bugging you? All I'm asking is we take a look. I can't do this. You need to make your mind up. Make my mind up about what? Me. I'm not running around after you like some lapdog. Sorry, I know I can sound tough sometimes, but what happened back there really got to me. It freaked me out, too. I just wish I was better at knowing what's going on with you. Come on, you already know. Hey, take a look at this. How about a game? Let's throw a few. May take our minds off the fog. Really? It seems pretty lame to me. You scared I'll whoop your ass? Warm up with an easier shot. Go for... Single 20. I'll go with it. Yes. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Try for double seven. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. <gasps> At least my eyesight seems okay. Great shooting. Go for the bullseye with your last dart. What is this guy's problem? There's at least something off about him. <laughs> you throw a mean dart. Even when you're not in a game. Kind of weird, right? Stuck here with these guys because of that fog? How do you feel about all this shit? I don't really know. We're not having a great night, that's for sure. But I guess it could have been worse. No names. But some around here could do with being taken down a notch or two. What's on your mind? They think I'm an idiot. No one believed me about the fog. Then, hey, presto, they get lost too. And it's like, oh, maybe Taylor was right after all. I don't think you're an idiot at all. Far from it. Thanks, Danielle. We should go and check out what's happening. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. She's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Natural talent. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> this place is a bust. There's nothing for us here. For once I agree. The sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Christ, this is practically parchment from the 70s. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics.
That is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Holy shit. I'd really like to leave this place now.
I could care less about ancient history. Mine's dead. I could use a shot of that right about now. I really gotta cut down on the booze. Mm. We all drink too much from time to time. You should leave. Now what? Can't I gotta get some peace around here? Phone's dead, no tone, nothing. Phone sure seems like it's broken. I already told you it was dead. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Nothing's okay. I can't escape. Escape what? The fog? Can we just get out of here? Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for.
It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top-up? What does that mean? I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. That fog has affected more than your sense of direction. Your imagination's also out of control. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up? <laughs> Angela? Andrew? Where are you? We're here! I can't see you! Andrew, can you come over? What is it? I just saw someone out in the woods. Really? Well, maybe it was the bus driver. What I saw out there was a child. If there was anyone out there, they've gone now. All I see is trees. You two, we need to stick close. Very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? 
Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Hey, wait for us! What is that? Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. What is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see how you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. We saw something. Or maybe we thought we saw something. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... Did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth 
in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I know it's been unsettling, but we're gonna get out of this. Unsettling my ass? Unsettling is way back over the border somewhere. What went down back there? Not sure, but whatever it was scared the crap out of them. We better keep an eye on them. hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so, if not, what the fuck? Hey. Might get a better view from up there.
How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. it makes zero sense to me. What's up? You two okay? After what we went through back there, we're both a considerable distance from okay. I'm sorry I lost touch with you in the fog. Shows we need to stick close to each other. Let's not turn this into an argument. Historical society meetup. That explains the old-fashioned clothing they saw. Are you for real? Come on. Historical society? Get out of here. Hey, something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! Say it? This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Maybe we should be heading back now. You okay? I'm fine. We have to do something. What the hell do you suggest? Both of us should go.
Sure. Let's do this. Hey! You two! <gasps> this is not good. Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. It's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions! Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that! I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm a John. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? For me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Just you and me, kid. I know you saw something. It's written all over you. I don't want to discuss it. What I want is to get far away from here.
No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town? I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Goes for both of us. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. talking about get away or he will find me <gasps> come on out mary i know very well you're in there please no let me go i will release you once i'm sure you will not speak of our secret your childish games tire me you will respect me and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Let's get out of here right now. 
Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with Andrew. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I... I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. <clears throat> Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Here, need a hand? Ah. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. Over here, look at this. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Let me see if I can get this open. <sighs> 
Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. It'll be fine. You got Angela here with you. Don't take a Sunday morning stroll when you get in there. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. Pull your finger out of your ass and open the goddamn... <clears throat> Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, we'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Oh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say it. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. 
my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Oh, this was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? I saw this woman being taken away, arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. This woman, Amy, the one the girl ratted out, she's my double? Oh, great. Take it easy. This is not just about you. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Hey, what's that? This has to be the only cop station. The professor was heading into town. Maybe he's inside. If we hook up with the others, then we're heading into town. You cool with that? Yeah, I know, thanks. I'm cool with us sticking together. Maybe the only way out of this mess. Come on, let's go. Hey, Professor! You in there? Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I know what happened. That other version of me was arrested, charged with witchcraft. She stood trial and was condemned for witchcraft. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell?
What if I'm somehow linked to that woman? If she dies, what happens to me? I have no fucking clue what is going down here, but I do know that that woman is not you. does it mean that she's here? She can't be real. She has to be a manifestation. You mean the reason she's here is because you're here? You got a better explanation? I don't have an explanation. John says which trials really happened right here in Little Hope. He's right. I think they did. Then that woman was on trial hundreds of years before I got here. So how can I be manifesting her? Reincarnation? Reincarnation? Why not? You came back here because of her, because you once were her. And the rest of us? We're all reincarnated from these people and we happen to be at the same college on the same bus trip here? Like I said, I don't have an explanation. I'm just guessing is all. Why would her bus be diverted this way? Makes no sense. No surprise there.
Can't see for shit. Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. I'll go first. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No. Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I have done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What do I do? I don't know how to help you. You can hear me. You must help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! But Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for oh, us all. Lil Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference be your very fit. Isaac. tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned.
All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> Okay, you two, get on down here. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver, don't you think? Or the precise opposite? That's right! Andrew has a gun! Andrew's keeping it quiet. Good move. Look after number one, right? The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. <laughs> okay then, we will once again turn to the Bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody once. Act 5, Scene 1, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself.
Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. That thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. If that thing comes for us again, We'll do whatever it takes to keep it away from you. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. Can we keep moving? I don't feel safe here. Gotta get away from here. That thing is out there. Are you coming?
let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! Jesus. You okay? Stupid old fool. Can't I gotta get some peace around here? Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. That woman's final words keep buzzing in my head. To end what's happening in Little Hope, the little girl has to be stopped. Was she talking about stopping more witchcraft accusations or something else? I couldn't tell. Come on, let's go. I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? You holding up okay? I'm wondering if that thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? You and me gotta stay real close now. When you say close, how close exactly? This close? A little closer. A little bit more. What's that? Nothing, probably. I heard something. I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Not a place I want to revisit. Hey, over here. You gotta check this out. That thing could still be around here. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Oh, shit. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge, no way. To find the others we gotta cross. We got no choice. 
Fuck hooking up with those guys. This is me and you now. We gotta look out for ourselves. <sighs> I'll go out in front then. You see what I'm seeing? This whole place is one giant memorial to death. Let's get out of here. Daniel! Get your hands off us! Wait. Little kid is the evil here? I don't I don't get it. My beloved Amy proclaimed it so with her dying testimony. If this evil is to end, Mary must be stopped. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please, Tabitha, let me keep here. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I... I think she wants us to go after her. You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. <laughs> Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Hey, wait for us!
It's Angela. I got you! John! Help me for God's Help me get down there. Angela? You still down here? It's John! Angela? Where are you? That's all there was. Nothing else. There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. Why is this kid out here on her own? It's strange. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet.
disturbing. It creeped the hell out of me. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. Hey, take a look at this. I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. You think she maybe let us here? Wanted us to see this? Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? You're probably right. Whew. I'm getting a little carried away here. Same trial we saw back in the police station. Disturbingly alike.
get out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. What the fuck was that? No idea. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Can we just get out of here? What the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. You sure about that? Yeah. Known her for a long time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some real shit. But she's still got a soft side. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still, first place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. Hey, Daniel, look here. Found a way in? Take a look. Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah, and that's 10 bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat, I never took the bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. Let's get this over with. Need to change your pants? Funny. Get your ass in here! <clears throat> Doors open. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. What's up? I just... I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope.
you. That you? Taylor? Taylor! You okay? What's going on? Come on! What happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Well, you go walking around on your own like that and shit happens. Fuck off, Daniel. I thought you had my back. This is so fucked up. This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that. I found us a knife. Huh? Think we should bring it along? Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Okay, small price to pay to make you feel better. I got it. Hey, check this out. The enclosed poppet, or doll, is thought to have originally belonged to a child in the late 1600s. Creepy. Shit, wait, I got it. This missing doll has got to be the one I saw with the kid. You think? That's kind of weird. Kind of weird? This place is full on nightmare central. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. With you on that.
Oh, hello. Are things becoming any clearer for you? That thing, whatever it is, just keeps coming for Angela. Unrelenting. I do hope she's okay. Another instrument of death added to the group's collection. Good work. Let me help you out. Give you one little hint. You're agreed. Well then, how can I put this? We each have our own demons. They are ours and ours alone, and they are often born out of regret. <sighs> I'll leave you now with some wise words from a great Irish playwright I once met in uh, Paris, I believe. <clears throat> Never judge anyone shortly. Every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. She's just a child. Let's speak again later. Looks like we've lucked out here. Back on the road. The professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. The woman who looks like me, what did she do to be taken like that? Not a great omen for sure, but nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Even the writers here don't have happy endings. Sure looks that way.
What I saw back there was unreal. I get that, but... But shit, this whole night has been messed up since we crashed. Thanks for having my back. This shitty night would be a lot tougher without you here. We've looked out for each other. We're the first tourists this place has seen for a long, long time. Why would anyone come here anyway? This place is a real ghost town. Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. We need to slide around the side. Yeah. Get over here! What's up? This isn't possible. 
I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay, you don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure. This is my tire swing. How come it's out here? I believe you, okay? So what does it mean? It's gotta be some weird head trip message for me. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. We're getting through this, okay? Together. This is not my doing. You must help me. I beg you. Please help me before it is too late. Hush now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear it. I will not it. be deceived. I see the evil in you. My duty is to cleanse our town of your sickness. There is no other way. You must hang. I pray, Lord, for you to take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Let's keep on going to the church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Hey, over here. Feels like we're being followed. We are being followed. Hey, get the fuck out of here! Back the fuck off, will you? Oh, oh crap, what the fuck is that? Move! Run!
that? Taylor. Taylor! Is that you back there? Get to the church! Run! Hey! One of those fucking things is after Get us! Get inside! Go! Come on! Move it! Hey! Run! Get inside! Where's Angela? She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. You're kidding me. No, and we have to keep that thing outside, or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. <laughs> Shit! Come on, we need a barricade here! Come on! Hey! Why the hell is that old fool still out there? Looks like he's following us. Whatever he's up to, we can't trust I him. I know you're inside! God damn it! Why'd you have to pull a gun on him? Now he's drawing that thing straight to us. He doesn't get how much trouble we're in here. What the hell is going on in there? You need to get away from here. Go, before it's too late! Get the hell out of here! I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! I'm real sorry, but I can't open this door. Shutting people out don't help. And believe me, I know. Wait, what do you mean? I shut out the whole goddamn world. Instead, I chose to look inside a bottle. Not a life for a man or beast. I've been stuck in this town so long, I don't know what to do next. That's two of us, man. I'll go get help. That's a bad idea. There's nothing out there can help us. You really think it was smart not to tell me that you had that gun? Figured I could hit that thing, but almost took out the old guy. I messed up. Don't give yourself too hard a time. We're in a bad way. We do what we have to. Professor? Andrew! It's me. I'm next. Priest, reverend, whatever. Made accusations against my double. It sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? Sorry, Professor, I didn't check. That thing is 
still out there. Look over there. We have to follow her. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened here. What if you're right? What then? If we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back. Hey, kid. You out here? It me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all. Keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand, and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your pleas cannot reach him. My fate is not a memory you should carry. He will be my keeper if you are gone. Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. A decision not all are in agreement with. Every man will face his day of judgment. Yours is today. No! No! Look, child. See who you would have me spare. See, he is no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way. He was right here. I was holding him. He was right there. Nothing I could do. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I know how much it messed me up. Thanks. We're both still standing. That's what counts. Why did that kid Mary want us to see her brother executed? Doesn't add up. We're missing a piece of the puzzle somehow. Like what? Not sure. First time I saw Mary, felt like I recognized her from someplace. Me too. I know I've seen her before. But where? There it is! That's what's been after us! Come on! What do we do now? With that thing outside? Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because 
It's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. I guess staying makes some kind of sense, right? Y you think that's our best move? We are staying in here. No choice. Okay. Maybe you got a point. Perhaps the thing will get bored and take off. We have nowhere else to go. Sounds like more than one. Fucking great! Just listen up. It follows us when we move around. And we need to be quiet. Like, silent. Could be trapped. This has to be that guy, the preacher we keep seeing.
guys. Thought I'd lost you. We're still in big trouble here. I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. None of us is safe. Not tonight. All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. You asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut-eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we getting out of here? Listen. It's clear now. There's no help available. We're on our own. Sure seems that way. Our best shot, maybe our only shot, is to stop that girl, Mary. Getting to Mary, stopping her, might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Stopping that kid is our best shot. But how? Not even sure she's real. What's the big plan? Please, little girl, will you stop messing with us? We do whatever it takes to stop Mary. Literally whatever we have to. You're right. When we stop her, this all goes away. If we see her again. Nothing here is certain. What's going on? You okay? My eyes were just burning for a second there. It's okay, I'm good now. <laughs> What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Shoot, it'll give us away. Put the damn thing down. It's already on top of us. Point that goddamn thing at someone else, will you? <laughs> Angela! My God, never thought I'd see you again. I, I was sure you, you were gone. We thought, you know, we're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're going to make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. So the whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm. Not quite. They found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across more of those things since you left us. The thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? Oh, uh... I almost forgot I had these. Very happy to return them. There was a time I feared it wouldn't happen. 
Thanks. You're a true gentleman. One lens is broken. Maybe I'll break the other one, then I won't have to see what's going on down here. Not sure that's gonna give us the edge we're looking for, but I like the idea. You hear that? I heard it. Sounded close, too. Just gotta keep moving. Let me help you down. Doesn't matter. We have to keep moving. <laughs> Easy. Come on. I got gotcha. you. Come on. Oh. Oh. Got gotcha. you. Andrew? You there? Daniel? Taylor? Taylor?
gotta go, now! You let her die! Why didn't you shoot? I can't believe this is happening. Taylor. I'm sorry, Daniel. Truly, I am. I know how much Taylor meant to you and to us all. But it's vital we keep moving. We have to go right now! It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels, or by demons, heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. But everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and Taylor's is the only soul lost so far. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. I, for one, hope I never see that girl ever again. Stopping that kid is the only way we're making it out of here. Keep your eyes and ears open. This may sound crazy, but what if Saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves. He's got a point. Those things we've seen are linked to the executions. I was only hunted after my double was killed. That girl definitely bought it. Love to know the whole story of what happened to her. Come and check this out.
Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. <gasps> no, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all, that you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. I don't think executing the girl is the right way to go. She's probably traumatized. As much a victim here as anyone else. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. I don't know what's right or wrong anymore. Nothing here makes sense. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Not sure I want the answer, but what did you two see back there? We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. 